Madden 24 has added in new trade difficulties. So today we're going to try and rebuild the best possible team on very easy difficulty. So if you guys want to see this video on easy, normal, hard, and very hard, let me know in the comments below. Also hit that like button, sus subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And let's go ahead and just pick a random team. I have my eyes closed, all right? Eyes closed, we're even gonna go back a little bit, go forward a little bit. I have no idea. And we're this is the team we're gonna have, all right? And done. The New England Patriots. I was hoping for a little bit of a better team, but that's fine. We'll roll with the New England Patriots and we'll go ahead and change these settings and we'll make sure we'll have this set at all oh, Madden, simulation, all good. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and make sure that the trade difficulty is actually, no, let's, do I want, no, this is a rebuild. Uh, do I want, let's see, where's the trade difficulty? Yeah, so we'll go very easy for the trade difficulty and we should be all good to go. We'll go at what we'll, we'll have injuries off as well for this video and fatigue and, and all the story. Well, the draft doesn't really matter, whatever. And we're only going to rebuild this team off of trading for like normal players. So, you know, we're, we're not going to be trading for draft picks, right? I mean, it's very easy difficulty. So this should be the best team like possible. Like this team should be insanely good because we're going to be able to trade for basically whoever we want. Now, I am leaving cap space on, so we got to be smart about where we spend money, how we spend it, right? Where we're kind of giving money to certain positions. So the first thing is first, all right? I mean, this is on very easy trade difficulty. We're going to go get the best player in the NFL. Like, we'd be stupid not to. So this shouldn't take a lot, I don't, I don't think. Um, but let's give them um, Matthew Judon. Well, yours, eh... Yeah, he's 31, 89. So we can get somebody better. We can get somebody better. So let's give them the best, our best player. And let's just see where that gets us to. Okay, not very far. We're going to have to add in picks. That's fine. You know what? Hmm, do I even want to give up Judon? I don't know. Let's do picks. We'll give up a first this year. Actually, you know what? I wonder if we can get away with just sending all seconds for Patrick Mahomes. Like three seconds and Matthew Judon. Okay, no, not even close. Okay, so I just traded for the first, second, and third projected picks. So this should be a lot easier. We're just going to add one, two, and three for Mahomes, and it's really close. Okay, so now let's just throw in like a seventh round pick, whatever. And okay, no, that's declined. All right. Um, let's see. Let's just add in a player. You guys need a left tackle? Sure. Uh, here, here's Calvin Anderson. Take him. You guys could use him. No, nope, trade declined. All right. Uh, you need a left end? All right. Well, here's a left end. There's um, I kind of want to keep Christian Barmore for now. Let's just let's just give you a 62 overall left end. It's it's still not accepted. Okay. Um hmm. all right. Let's just uh we'll just add in a draft pick then to make this easier. Let's just throw in a fifth. Whatever. Doesn't matter. And that should be accepted. So we have Patrick Mahomes. We, we've only given up our three first round picks. Pretty easy. And now let's go ahead and fill in the rest of this roster. So now that we have Mahomes, let's work on... I mean, I want some young, like, tackles maybe. Uh, and and O-line. So let's, let's go with that. Let's actually look at the just the rosters in general. And actually trade from, from there. But let's work on offensive line and get like a solid. We don't need to go for like O line that has that's making money, right? Let's just go with some younger offensive linemen, not necessarily rookies because they might be more expensive. So if we just go towards, I mean, we have a 30 year old right now, so we can use him in a trade and probably get someone that's like, I don't know, like an 80, like an 86 or whatever. So let's look at the best left tackles in the league. And how much money they're making so we don't want anyone making a ton of money uh tyron smith is only making seven uh, mil so i mean he's not making a ton i mean that's the penalty actually not really savings but whatever um hmm, rashawn slater can we get rashawn slater i think that might be that might be the best option here yeah so let's try and trade for rashawn slater let's see how easy this is or an 85 overall left tackle 
let's try to give them our left tackle and see if they'll take Trent Brown for Slater just straight up. 83 for an 86. I doubt it. Oh, no, it's it's accepted. All right. Well, wow, th this is easy. OK, left guard. Uh, I mean, uh, well, I want to save money here. So let's go for a cheap left guard. Let's go for Landon Dickerson. O-line, I don't want to spend any money. By the way, this is a one year challenge. All right. We're not getting two years out of this. This is a one year challenge. Can we make, win a Super Bowl and build like the best possible team with, you know, in one year? Like that's that's what this video is. So let's go ahead and give them Cole Strange. And you know what? They could have City So because I'm I'm feeling generous. You know, there there you go. There's a our left guard is is done. All right, let's go for center. This this is actually <laughs> this is actually a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Uh, who is a cheap like? I mean, we have we already have David Andrews, and I mean, okay, well, maybe we just keep David Andrews then. He's he's not making as much money um, as everyone else. Oh well, Creed Humphrey actually. No, let's. What am I doing? Let's trade for Creed Humphrey. Yeah, he's he's literally one of the best centers in the league. He's on a rookie deal. This should be easy. And there's David Andrews. This should be accepted. Realistically, like. No, it's not. Okay, declined. Let's just, okay, well, we'll just add in. Let's add in, like, a fourth round pick. Maybe that will get it done. Uh, no, we're in the yellow, though. So let's add in another. How about, let's add in, like, a future third. This should get it done. Oh, we're really close. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna add in a, a 2026 fourth. And we're good. Okay. We got Creed Humphrey. That's easy. I don't like how I'm spending my my uh my picks there but i wanted creed humphrey we already have a fantastic right guard not gonna mess with that and then at right tackle let's let's go for for uh penny Sewell. uh so we'll go ahead and trade for him and then he might be a little bit more difficult because right tackle who, who do the patriots have Re yeah see um hmm. okay this might be a little bit more expensive let's trade what else do we have here that i don't really want to i kind of want to just give up picks here but i don't want to give up too good of picks we're kind of running out of picks here and we still need like some good players i mean maybe we can trade some of these online guys for you know what i mean like move move some of these guys around so let's just offer a third and let's see if we can yeah it's not even close we might have to give up a player here hmm uh, it's the Lions. Maybe they want... Do you guys want Mac Jones? I doubt it, but yeah, no. they That actually went down, I'm pretty sure. They really, they really don't want Mac Jones. Uh, I don't think anyone wants Mac Jones. Let's give up... Hmm. Let's give up... I don't know. Someone with like... You know what? Let's give up Hunter Henry. Because they need a tight end. And this might actually work. It is, except, okay, we probably could have got something back. But that's all right. Okay, now it's time to get some weapons. Now, we don't need to go crazy, even at running back, right? Like, we don't, I mean, running back will probably be really easy. Uh, You know who we could go and get, though? There's Kenneth Walker, who's pretty good. But you know what? I'm going to go for, where is he? I'm going to go for, uh... That's not Bijan. Where's Bijan? Did I pass him? What's Bijan's overall? There he is. Bijan Robinson. 81 overall. We know he's a superstar dev. Now, because he's a rookie, he might be a little bit more difficult because his dev trait's hidden. I don't know. This might be pretty tough, but let's just offer Stevenson, right? Overall for overall. Yeah, no. Uh, he's going to be hard to get because of his, uh, his uh, dev trait. Okay. Let's go get... I mean, I'm not really concerned about running back. Um, but I do want someone decent. All right, so we're going to go get Brees Hall for uh, Stevenson and Montgomery. And we have a solid, young running back, star dev. Just not bad, right? We'll, we'll take it. Um, and then for wide receiver, this is where I want to try to get some big-time receivers. Let's aim for Jamar Chase. We may need first-round picks. Or we may have to... Uh, this one might be a little tough. Um, what picks do we have? We have a second. 
Okay. Let's add in two seconds and just see where we get. For Jamar Chase, we're really close. Okay. Uh, let's just add in a wide receiver then. Uh, we'll give him Juju. And this should actually get us pretty close. It's accepted. All right. We got Jamar Chase. Actually, that was a lot easier than we thought. Okay. Let's go for another receiver then. Um, I don't, I don't want to spend too much on like 99s. But someone who is cheap but also like... I don't know, young enough to where they can... I mean, CD costs money right now. Hmm, I don't want to spend money on the offense, really. Uh, who do we go with? Who do we go... I mean, DK, but again, he's expensive. We could go like Waddle or Devontae Smith. Um, Michael Pittman. Wouldn't be bad. I mean, we could go get Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson... I mean, Garrett Wilson would be pretty sweet. Let's, let's go get Garrett Wilson. He'll be easy to get, too. He's only an 84 overall. And, yeah. This this will be this will be a good one. Let's just give him Devontae Parker. And, wow. They really don't want to get rid of Garrett Wilson. Uh, okay. Hmm, that was a lot lower than I thought it'd be. I don't really want to give up a third-round pick right now for Garrett Wilson. So, that... Let's move on off of that one. Okay, so we got Jerry Judy. That works out. Uh, we we had to throw in a, a sixth round pick. Not not too bad. Now let's go get like a slot receiver, like a third receiver that's low overall, like a lower overall, maybe like a rookie or something. Um, well, no, a rookie, mm, a rookie won't work. It's someone that, oh, you know what, Elijah Moore maybe, or we could go. I mean, I would I would love Jamison Williams. But I think he's going to be too expensive. He's star dev. We could try just because he's a 79 overall. This might work. Get a speed guy too. And our trio of receivers would be insane. Let's throw in Tyquan Thornton as well. And just see if this works now. I, he's going to be really expensive. That's not going to work. He's too young. Okay, so this trade is kind of wild. We're giving up Mac Jones, Bourne, Thornton, a 6th and a 7th for Christian Watson. So Watson will be our third receiver. We'll put Judy in the slot. Uh, have Jamar Chase and Watson on the outside. That's that's pretty good. Tight end would love to go get Kyle Pitts. Uh, that's That would probably be like the best option. He might be a little too expensive though. But we'll try. Why not? Let's try to get Kyle Pitts. He's only 22. X Factor. 87 overall. He's just ridiculous in this game. And I'm... I mean we have Gusecki. It... It's going to be... This might be close. It's really close. We're going to be able to get Kyle Pitts. Wow. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Let's just throw in... A fifth? A fifth might get it done? No. Okay. We might have to give up, like, another player. Like, let's say we want to give up... Uh, You know what? We could give up... I wonder if Zappi would... I mean, he's only 63 overall. But would the Falcons want him? We're really close um hmm i don't know like what about anyone here is there another position where we have yeah middle linebacker we have some depth uh you know what a rookie with hidden dev that actually might do really well oh no that doesn't move it all right so we got kyle pitts gaseki bailey zappi a fourth fifth and six we're running out of picks here which uh, we could probably trade some of these other guys for, for picks. So that might work out. But the offense is done. O-line is really good. We got our tight end. We got three really good wide receivers. Uh, got a good running back. Obviously, we have Mahomes. That, yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. So now let's focus on like the most important positions defensively. Which I would say corner and pass rushers, right? So let's we can actually maybe look at corner. I mean... Gardner is going to be so expensive. Like Gardner and, and Pat Sertan. I don't, uh, I don't think we could get them because Gardner's only a superstar. He'd be a little bit easier to get. So we could try. Um, and we could try to give them. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think this is going to work out because we would, we would have to go for we would have to give him like Jones a second, probably our third. Yeah, it's not even close. Yep, that's not going to be an option. Okay. Okay, so I traded for Daniel Hunter uh, and just kind of, I kept trading 
the same player. Like I would trade for a guy, then trade him for a guy, then trade him for a guy. Got Daniel Hunter. Now we can get Trayvon Diggs and a third round pick. So we're going to take that. He's going to be one of uh, our corners. And then uh, one of the guys I actually want to go for is Tariq Woolen. So let's go for him, which he will just have high speed. So it'll be easy to find him. Tariq Woolen. And then let's see what it takes uh, to get him. He's an 83 overall. Uh, do they have any offers? They do. Uh, we can give him Jerry Judy or Uche. Okay. Actually, well, I don't. I kind of want to just give up. It should be actually pretty not easy, but not too difficult to give him or to get him. So we have Trayvon there. Let's actually uh, give up Jonathan Jones. And uh, we should actually be able to get Tariq Woolen pretty easily. I might actually throw in, like, can we get like a third round pick for him too? Or no, no, okay. Um, I mean, I could try like a future future fourth and see. Nah, I don't think we're gonna get really any pick for him. So let's just go, yeah, no. Straight up doesn't really work either. So let's go ahead and give up another corner um, because we have Christian Gonzalez, which I'm gonna use him in the next one. So let's give up Marcus Jones, who has a uh, silver dev. This should work, okay. So we got Tariq Woolen. We have Trayvon Diggs. I want to get someone else, but I'm not really sure. Like, I want, like, another, I don't know, maybe, uh, I, I think we could get AJ Terrell. I, I think. Superstar Dev, 87 overall. But if we give up, let's see, let's look at our corners again. So we got Diggs, we got Woolen. If we get, give up Gonzalez, Mills, uh they need a quarterback they need a defensive tackle i don't really want to give up um no we don't really have any quarterbacks okay we've picked up some picks though so let's give up a third and try to get aj troll we're really close man we're really close this would be pretty sweet if we could give him get him um would two thirds do it probably not it does sweet okay we have AJ Terrell. So we have Diggs, Terrell, and Tariq Woolen at corner. Nice. All right. Now let's... Are we running a 3-4 or a 4-3? That's a good question. Let's let's take a look at the team and see where we're at. Because this team, this team is looking pretty good. So let's go here to manage roster. Adjust lineup and see how good this squad is. I mean, the offense is, is like really insane good. Like... Brees Hall is going to be awesome. O-line's sweet. And then having Jamar Chase, Judy, and Christian Watson with Kyle Pitts. Yeah, that's that offense is elite of the elite. I mean, it's not insane players, right? Like 99s, right? But considering we had the New England Patriots, which is not a very good roster, pretty good start. I am going to trade Judon at some point, but our corners with Diggs, Terrell, and Woolen. One of those guys is probably going to be at X-Factor by the end of the year. Uh, so yeah, they are running a three, four. So uh, let's go get, you know what? I might actually change it to a four, three, just to make things a little bit easier as far as like, um, I feel like four, three does better in what's it called in SIM. So let's, let's actually go four, three and get some edge rushers that way. It doesn't really matter if they're outside linebackers, right? We'll, we can just move them to defensive end. So we'll do that. We'll go base 4-3. Uh, and then we're going to go Kansas City offense and defense. Because I think those are the two best playbooks. And we should be good. All right. We just got Micah Parsons. We're giving up Judon two seconds, a six and two sevenths. And we just got Micah Parsons at left end or right end, whatever it was. Yeah, that's 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 pretty good. I, I mean, I, I would say that's not bad, right? I, you know, we'll take it. Uh, can we get that's insane um let's go for man getting chase young would be pretty sweet i think we could get chase young let's <laughs> let's see uh superstar dev still on a rookie contract uh no trade package so he might be kind of difficult um hmm who do we want to give up to go get him though let's see we could give up uh Let's give up Wise, and let's give up Guy, and then let's give up, I don't know, 
Um, hmm. And then let's do let's do a third, and let's see if we're anywhere close. Oh my god, that got accepted. <laughs> All right, very easy is a little too easy. That's funny. If you like, I said earlier, if you guys want to see us try to do this, but on the next difficulty, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, so our pass rush is good. Uh, at least our edge rushers are good. Now let's get up the middle here and find a couple of guys that could fit in our four three. Um, I mean, Kenny Clark is awesome against the run. So we could go with like him or DeForest Buckner, which they should be relatively cheap. So let's go actually for DeForest and see if we can. I think we can get him pretty easily. So let's go ahead and trade like. Uh, hmm. Let's get, get rid of you and let's get rid of we can give up I and mean, we're not going to have a lot of depth. Um, But like, I'm sure they'll take Barmore. Or DeForest Buckner. Yeah, that was accepted. Yeah. Uh, okay. It, like you said, we'll fill out the roster in free agency. Um, man, could we get Quinn and Williams then? Like, that was easy. I wonder if we could get Quinn and we did kind of get rid of like our trade our all the best guys already, at least on the defensive line. So I don't know. Like if we gave up Trey Flowers. And, hmm, I don't know. I kind of want to save those guys right now. Same with you, same with you. Okay, could we, I mean, I feel like a first is too much. So if we give up a first, but I want, I want it like a second back. You don't have, well, you have a future second. Give me a future second back and this might work. No, it's not even close, okay. No, I'm, I'm not going to go for Quinnen then. We're giving up that first and flowers for Kenny Clark and a third round pick. Uh, pretty good. And there you go. Our defensive line is set. So now let's work on just getting fast off ball linebackers, right? Like that's kind of the main thing here. So Isaiah Simmons comes to mind. We definitely want to go get Isaiah Simmons. He's going to be terrific in this. I don't know what he's listed at right now. Uh, it might be actually... Oh, you know what? Let's go get JOK, actually, before we go get Isaiah. So, let's get JOK, and then Isaiah, and then we'll find someone else. Like I said, these guys... The rest of this defense is probably going to be, like, lower overall, guys. Um, so, let's go trade... Uh, who do we want to trade? Let's just trade Uche. We could probably get more. Because um, you're he's a pass rusher, right? So... We're getting a 79 overall, but let's go. Can I get a first? Do I have it? Okay, they have a first. This might actually work. Can I get a first for you? Ooh, we're really close. All right, let's just give up another player then. Um, we'll give up Marte Mapu. And oh, we're so close. I want that first. I could use that first. So let me give up. I don't want to give up the third so let's just do like three sevens <laughs> and see if they'll just take a bunch of seventh round picks all right they well we might have to add in a, one more player here let's go with i don't know they need middle linebacker i'm already giving them mapu uh, would wilson would mac wilson do it and no it's so close man uh let's see I mean, we could give them. Hmm. You know what? Let's do this. Let's take uh, Mapu back and then let's go Uche, Tavai. Yeah, there we go. JOK, three sevens, and a first round pick. Perfect. Let's do that. Now let's go get Isaiah Simmons, who I believe should be a left outside linebacker. So Isaiah Simmons is listed as a safety, uh, which actually could benefit. Nah, I don't think it's really going to benefit us. Hmm. All right, let's just try and see. Maybe his value is lower because of that. So let's just go um, Mapu, Wilson. Wait, didn't I trade Wilson? No. Uh, and let's go ahead and just give up a third. That might be too much. Let's take the third back and let's just see where we're at. We're really close. Uh, 
I guess we can just give him a safety back. Um, let's just give him Cody Davis. And... Yeah, that might be enough. It is. Okay, cool. So we got I Isaiah Simmons and JOK. Let's actually go get like a really good middle linebacker here. Because they'll, they'll be the outside. Let's go get... Hmm, who do we want? I mean, I don't think we could get Fred Warner, unfortunately. But... I think we could get someone like Nick Bolton, 87 overall, but he only has star dev. I kind of want someone with, like, uh, Levante David. Because they're older, they might actually be cheaper. They're just kind of, they're a bit slower. Roquan, I don't know if we could get Roquan. We might have to give up that first, but we should be able to, honestly. If we give up, let's see. We give up that first, but we also give up Bentley, who's an 84 overall. How close can we get? All right. Yeah, I don't think that first is... I don't think we could get Roquan unless I gave up... I don't know. Well, I mean, we do have the third, actually. All right. Let's try to give up the first and third and see if we can get Roquan. We do. All right. So we got Roquan Smith. Our linebackers are awesome. Our corners are awesome. Our pass rushers are awesome. The defensive line in general is awesome. Let's go get safeties now. Uh, so at free safety, let's go and get... Who do I want? Um, I mean, Justin Simmons might be... Uh, I don't know. Javon Holland would be sweet if we could get Javon Holland. We should actually be able to get Javon Holland pretty easily. Uh, Derwin James would be awesome. Uh, who else would be awesome to have? Like, I don't know. I wonder, what's the ceiling? Like, could we actually get, Dur I doubt it, because we just got rid of our first and third, right? So, I don't think we could. But we also have a few decent safeties here. Nah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to even be close, right? Like, I mean, we're almost halfway. So, basically, right now, what I'm doing is just trying to, go up using one player so we got denzel ward so and then we got a, a couple seconds i think as well so then let's flip denzel ward we could get jordan player uh i was hoping that would be justin simmons let's go get we could get keenan allen and a second and then flip uh keenan allen uh we could also hmm oh we can get a first round pick christian kirk all right, let's get let's do that and let's flip Christian Kirk uh, for another decent player and maybe another pick. And then we'll go ahead and try to get like, I don't know. I mean, I would love, would love to get Justin Simmons. There's a third round pick. Third round pick, Randy Gregory. Hmm. Michael Pittman in a second. We could do that one. Uh, Eric Kendricks again in a second. Who else? There's Kyle Duggar. Um, Jeremy Chin in a second. And we could just roll with Jeremy Chin. That's an option. Najee Harris would be pretty sweet. Get a second round pick and then actually trade. Ooh, do I want Najee Harris instead? You know what? Let's do that. We get a second round pick and let's flip Brees Hall. I'd rather have Najee Harris just because he has superstar dev. So let's do that. And then let's flip Brees Hall. And then we could honestly... Oh, wait. You know what? There's no trade packages for Brees Hall. Really? Okay, well, we can throw him in to get a safety then. How about that? We also have some second round picks. Let's go for... I'm going to go for Justin Simmons here. And let's see. Just because he does have superstar dev, right? So he's going to have some abilities. And then we will throw in... Oh, you know what? I don't think we're going to be able to get... Like, Brees Hall might not have a lot of value for them just because they have Javante. But it's decent value. We also have a bunch of picks. And we will throw in a safety. Um, Adrian Phillips. And this should get us actually pretty close. Ooh, 280s and not really. Oh, man, it'd be sweet to have Justin Simmons, though. We'll add in a second and a third. And then, boom, accepted. All right. We have Justin Simmons. Let's go get one more safety here. Uh, let's go get... 
Hmm, who do I want? I don't know. I mean, I guess I could go for another free safety and just move someone over. Like, someone like Jesse Bates. Or... Hmm. I mean, honestly, I would really like Javon Holland. Javon Holland would be actually a lot of fun. Let's go get Holland. He should be actually pretty easy to get. He has star dev. Uh, at least last year, he got to superstar dev pretty easily. So, let's do this. And he will fill in our last safety spot. And we're just going to try and get him for like a second round pick. Let's see if we're close. We're really close. Okay, then let's just throw in sevens. We'll hold on to this first to see if we want to upgrade anyone. So, we'll just give you guys three sevens. That should make up that time. Uh, nope, not quite. All right, let's just throw in like a sixth. And this should get it done for Javon Holland. Boom. All right. So safety's done. Corner's done. We need kickers. So let's just go get the best possible kicker we can. Uh, 99 kick power. 99 accuracy. Justin Tucker. Obviously the best kicker. I mean, McPherson too is would be pretty sweet too. I, I like McPherson, but we got to go with Justin Tucker. I mean, come on. And this should be pretty easy. Let's give him Nick Folk. Let's see actually how close we get for Folk for Tucker. Okay, not very close. All right, that, you know, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, draft picks, let's go ahead and give you a fourth and a seventh. Maybe we'll throw in some more sevenths. I don't know, that's, that's done. All right, and I don't think we're going to be punting much, but we might as well go get the best punter in, in, the, in the game, which, I mean, I guess let's go accuracy. Let's just go AJ Cole. He should be pretty easy to get. He has superstar dev as well. So our both our kickers will have superstar dev. And we will get give up uh Behringer, who actually has hidden dev, so that's actually gonna up his value, I think. We'll give up a fifth. We still have a first and second. But we could go get somebody. Okay. Let's look at the roster. Alright, so this is a squad. O line's good. Kyle Pitts at tight end. I kind of want actually a back another tight end. So let's go get another tight end. Uh, let's go get another running back. I mean, we could upgrade receiver, man. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to upgrade wide receiver. I mean, Jerry Judy's nice. We could have him as a third. Trade Watson a first and second and see what type of receiver we can get. I've made some moves. I think we can get Justin Jefferson. <laughs> we throw in a first, a third, a second. I'm going to try and hold on to that first. How close are we? Okay. Now, I'm going to try and put in Christian Watson. If not, we'll trade Judy. Uh, okay, no. Let's trade. Well, I don't know. Maybe keeping Judy, actually. Let's throw Watson back in there and let's just give up another pick. So we we have fourth and a fifth. We could just try that instead of giving up higher picks. Well, that's so close. Let's keep the fourth in there. And we've already put this one in there, right? And this one? Okay. Um. Alright. Let's just do this. Put in the first. Give me the third back. I mean the second back. Two firsts and a fourth. Alright. Uh seventh or no. Let's do a fifth and a sixth. How about that? Please work? No. Dang it. Alright. Uh a fifth. I'm trying not to give up too much here, but we may have to. I mean it's Justin Jefferson. Like, what are we doing here? Let's give up a third. And a fourth. And let's just get this deal done. And let's get freaking Justin Jefferson. How about that? We have Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, and then Jerry Judy in the slot. I think that's 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 not bad. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, okay, let's go get a second tight end. I mean, I don't think we really need a second tight end. But let's go. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's go get. Hmm. Where are you? Uh, let's go get Michael Mayer. I mean, he has hidden dev. Oh, you know what? He might actually be kind of tough to get. And we just traded like all of our picks too. But that hidden dev is probably going to prevent us from getting him. 
Let's just try a second and a sixth and see how close we get. Never mind, we're really we're, okay. We'll we'll get Michael Mayer then. Um let's just throw in the rest of the picks. And then this should get it done. And I think this is really uh we need to throw in another player. I think this is pretty much the the team. Um what are we giving up? Tight end? Uh what else do you need? Do we have any depth anywhere? Hmm. Not giving up any of these guys. But we can give up Miles. Uh, you guys need a kicker. Can have a kicker. All right, that gets it done. We just threw in Bryant, seventh, a sixth, a second, whatever. Doesn't really matter. We got Michael Mayer, and then oh, I did want another running back, but we're actually just gonna look in free agency for that. We're gonna fill in the roster as well for the positions that we kind of emptied out, and yeah, we should be good. Actually, I think Dalvin Cook is gonna be available. I th yeah, Dalvin Cook and Zeke are both available, and Kareem Hunt. Okay, um, let's grab Dalvin Cook and let's trade him. I don't know for what, but let's see what we can get. So here's what we're gonna do. We need to upgrade corner. So I'm gonna trade Dalvin Cook. Uh, we could get Tre'Davious White in a first round pick. Yeah, that'll play. <laughs> That'll, that'll work out that yeah um sweet uh okay i think that's glitch that delvin cook is still there so we'll just we'll trade zeke here and um let's let's just get more picks for him i want to get past Sertan and sauce if i can like if i'm hoping that maybe i can get both of them uh you know what let's take Let's take Highsmith. We'll take that third round pick and then flip Highsmith again. Okay, we can get James Bradbury and a third. So let's do that. Okay, our cornerback room is looking insane. We have Tredavious White. We have Bradbury. We still have all the, the guys that we, we signed earlier or we traded for earlier. So now let's go ahead and trade Pat Sertan. Or trade for Pat Sertan. And let's give up. I think for him, we're going to have to give up Tredavious. Um, how close do we get with, for just Tredavious? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, the trading on very easy is insane. Uh, let's go get Sauce. Why not? That should be pretty easy. I mean, this is insane. This is absolutely insane how easy this is i mean obviously it's very easy but still this team better go undefeated that's all i'm saying uh let's keep let's trade digs um and yeah our cornerback room is insane uh well, let's give up okay you know what this is gonna take more because sauce is young i bet it's because sertan is in your three or four whatever it is that's probably why so who well, sertan sauce and then the third corner i'm gonna actually go with we want terrell yeah so we'll trade bradbury byron jones i want to keep Tariq as our fourth corner which would be insane oh wow i don't think we, we can get sauce he's so expensive and it, it's because he's in year two i mean we could give up a first and two thirds but i don't think we're gonna be even close yeah it's not it's really like getting sauce would be like trading for like Mahomes, right? And it's just weird how Madden does that. Um, we could probably Jair is probably super cheap though. We could probably get Jair. Like this it's kind of crazy how it does that. If the if the players in year one or two, they are gonna be much, much harder to get. Um, but like for Jair, who's in your, you know, going in year seven, right? Or whatever it is he's gonna be a lot easier to get like we could just trade digs it probably and one more for jair look how much look how much easier that is he's a higher overall has x factor sauce doesn't even have x factor and it's that much like that is insane um i mean i guess we can let's just trade Bar bradbury and let's grab a first back from green bay and see if there's any other positions that we want to uh make better uh, can we get two first 
for this. That'd be kind of crazy. No, okay. I figured. And whoa, okay, never mind. The first is really expensive. Whatever. Let's just what? Did it go down? They really don't want Bradbury. Oh no, it did go up. It just didn't go up that much. As much as I thought it would. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. We'll give up Bradbury. Um, we'll give up Jones. And we will give up a third. And this should work out. Oh, wow. Okay. Jair is a little bit more expensive than I thought. Still way easier than Sauce. Um, but we'll add in another third. Still declined. Dang it. And we will throw in a fourth. And this should get it done. We'll hold on to that first. And boom. Okay. So we have Pat Sertan. We have Jair Alexander. We have AJ Terrell. We have Tariq Woolen. I think that's pretty solid. Uh... I think I still needed a running back, right? Uh, I think I still wanted one. Who do I have at running back? I don't even remember. Uh, is that... Okay, Najee. All right. Yeah, I still kind of want another running back. Just as a backup. So, let's just go... Um, I don't know. We can just grab... I mean, none of these guys will be super difficult to get. Other than, like, Bijan would be tough to get. But we could probably get Brees Hall back if we wanted to. Or like Javante as like a power back. Well, we already have a power back. You know what? No, let's go with um let's go with Pacheco. 93 speed, 95 acceleration. A good, you know, we got lightning and thunder with him and Najee. I think that's solid. Like I said, running back I'm not too worried about because they're not gonna really affect everything as much. Uh, but you know what? This will be the last trade. Let's just get this done. We'll send a first, whatever. It'll be easy. And that's going to be the team. So we turn the New England Patriots to this team. If the menu ever loads here any minute now. There we go. This team. We turned the New England Patriots into this team. On very easy trade difficulty. Now, it makes sense. Very easy. But still. But it's still pretty insane. Mahomes. Justin Jefferson. Jamar Chase. Jerry Judy in the slot. Najee Harris. Pacheco at running back. O-line is really good. Uh, and young and obviously we did this under the salary cap right I think we still have like 24 million dollars in the cap space by the way Kyle Pitts and Michael Mayer our offense is all really young defense is where we went and spent a little bit more money and got older but I mean the defensive line is crazy with Parsons Buckner Clark and Young at corner we have Sertan Jair AJ Terrell our fourth corner is Tariq Woolen our safeties are Simmons and Holland and our linebackers are JOK Roquan and Isaiah Simmons Pretty insane. As far as uh, the specialists will go, Jerry Judy will be in the slot. Terrell in the, in the slot uh, at corner. Rush hands will be Young and Parsons. Roquan will be a sub linebacker. And then for special teams, uh, we got Cole, we got Tucker, and then Pacheco will be the return man. So there you go. This team, this team better go undefeated. All right. They better. And they better blow out every single team. Like this team is absolutely ridiculous we're 95 overall on offense a 91 overall on defense part of that is is depth i didn't really fill in to get an insane amount of depth but we did beat the eagles 35 and 221 in week number one uh i'm not going to do this for every week but let's go ahead and look at the uh at the box score here and just see see where where do we go here schedule i mean i guess my homester for 378 yards and three touchdowns Dalvin Cook, who we signed and then traded, uh, actually led the week in rushing yards. But uh, let's go ahead and look at the box score. Like I said, I'm not going to do this every week, but maybe for like some of the insane weeks. Um, like I said, Mahomes, 378, three touchdowns, 30 of 39, 69 yards for Najee Harris. Jamar Chase had 10 for 193 and a touchdown. Goodness, Kyle Pitts, 9 for 90 and two touchdowns. Justin Jefferson had a bad game, 4 for 40, a bad game, whatever. Uh, and then, let's see, defensively, six tackles for Roquan, uh, TFL for a bunch of guys. Any sacks? One sack for Buckner, half a sack for Clark and Roquan. Wow. All right. Well, Micah and uh, Chase didn't do squat. Whatever. Two deflections for Pat Sertan. So, pretty easy week against the uh, defending NFC champions. Although, we did take a couple of their players, or at least they were in some trades with, you know, we moved a lot of guys around, so they're not the same exact team, but, you know, 
pretty good team. You got the Miami Dolphins who lost last week and for week two. Can we beat the Miami Dolphins? And we... Why is this... It's one week. Why is this taking 10 years to sim? Okay, we won 19-16. Wow, not great. Uh, Yeah, that's uh, not the best performance. Let's see, we are... They were second in offensive points per game, though. And we held them to 16. So, not bad. We'll go ahead and sim another week against... Oh, no, that's the Jets. The Jets are second in offense. Never mind. Can we beat the Jets? Well, we held them to seven points. So, yeah. Uh, 42 to 7. We're second in offensive points per game. First in uh, passing yards per game. 17th in rushing yards per game. Defensively, we're third, allowing 14.6 points per game. Rushing yards per game, we're fifth. 24th in passing yards per game defensively. But a lot of teams are probably trying to pass on us when they're, you know, down 42 to 7. Got the Dallas Cowboys, who we took Micah Parsons from. So, uh, you know, they got worse. And we're at 4-0 now. By the way, we went up in overall. 96 overall in offense, 93 defensively, 94 overall. We are now the number one offense. We beat the Cowboys 41-22, 34 points per game. Uh, defensively, though, we because we gave up 22 points, we actually fell in points per game defensively to 16.5. I mean, our passing yards per game isn't great, but like when we're up, you know, and putting up 40 points, yeah, teams are going to throw the ball a lot and they're going to score a little bit. Defense doesn't have to be number one. I would hope that they're top five. I think top five is a good goal. We're 5-0 and now and we beat the Saints 34-3. to 34 points per game, number one offense, number one passing yards, number nine rushing yards, number one in defensive points per game, now just 13.8 points per game, 19th in passing yards per game, and number one in rushing yards per game, giving up 72.8 yards per game. On to week number, or on, yeah, on to week number six against the Vegas Raiders, who are not a very good team. And we should blow them out. 35 28. We actually didn't blow them out. Uh, our defense wasn't great. Ooh, we got the Bills next to our five and one. We actually didn't take really anyone from the Bills. I don't know. Oh, Tredavious White. They lost Tredavious White. But I also think they, they got some decent guys. But anyways, woo, we have a breakout DB, possibly. Who is this? We're 6-0, by the way. And uh, yeah, our team is team's pretty good. This is, a, this is a good test, though. The Buffalo Bills are pretty good. Javon Holland has a possible dev upgrade week. He has a, a challenge. So like I said earlier, I think I said that, where uh, Javon Holland actually gets, goes from star to superstar pretty easily in, uh, in Madden. So... Uh, good to see that that kind of carries over. But can we beat the Buffalo Bills, who are 5-1 and one Mahomes versus Josh Allen? And we will, at some point, win or lose. Not sure. Simming one week takes about 10 years. We win 28-10. to 10, And uh, we are now 7-0. and oh. I'll look later if Javon Holland went up, but we're still first in offense. Number three in uh, points per game. Who's allowing less than 15 points per game? That's pretty impressive. But we got the Miami Dolphins up next on the road this time. We did beat them earlier this year, I believe. I think we did, right? I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure we uh, we already played them. And we beat them. 38-24. We are now 8-0. Uh, even though we gave up 24 points, we're now number two in defensive points per game at 16.3. So 8-0. and And you know what? This is about the halfway mark. So let's look at just overall stats and see where uh, where everyone's at. Mahomes leads the league in yards at 2,300. Only 19 touchdowns. Okay. Jamar Chase leads the league in catches, yards, only has three touchdowns. Whoa. Okay. Well, let's look at the overall stats here. But, I mean, Mahomes and Jamar Chase at number one there. And let's see. Mahomes is first in passing. So, I mean, I guess halfway through, he's on pace for a little over 40 because we're not quite halfway through, right? But he's on pace for almost 5,000 yards, a little over 40 touchdowns. How many picks has he thrown? He's thrown only one. <laughs> I would hope so. That's that's pretty good. Najee Harris is on pace for over 1,200 yards. He also is on pace for more than 
Uh, wow, a double digit touchdown is pretty good. Jamar Chase with 666 yards. He's on pace for like 13, 1400 yards. Uh, nine touchdowns for Kyle Pitts. He's on pace for almost 20 touchdowns. Only 489 yards receiving. Judy at 410. Jefferson at 500. Only two touchdowns for him. And then defensively, uh, TFLs, six for Chase Young. Uh, Micah Parsons has seven sacks. Six for Chase Young. Five and a half for Clark. Four and a half for Buckner. Getting to the quarterback. Pat Sertan with two picks. One each for Simmons, Alexander, Javon Holland, and Isaiah Simmons. So there is the halfway mark. We beat the Washington Commanders, who are now 1 and 8, 31 to 17. We move up to 9 and 0. Oh, and now we've got the Indianapolis Colts, who are 4 and 5. They do have Jonathan Taylor. So this is a, a good test for our run defense. And we went 31 to 3. And we're at our bye. We're first in points per game, first in passing yards per game, fourth in rushing yards per game. Defensively, we're third at 15.1 points per game, giving up 26 in passing yards per game, which is whatever. And actually, only we're only giving up 218. Actually, that might be backwards. That might be really good as far as passing yards per game. The heck? Rushing yards, though, we're only giving up 84, and that's number three. So, huh. That's weird. I don't, I don't really get that, but all right. Well, uh, into the bye week, we were 96 overall offensively, 94 overall defensively, 94 overall uh, uh, total. And now we play the New York Giants, who are 4-7 and seven and 81 overall. And we should, should beat them fairly easily. We're on the road, though, so you never know. And they are the team to, uh, to oh, we barely won. 20, watch, we're going to play the Giants in the Super Bowl, and you guys know what's going to happen. 24-21, we, we go to 11-0. We play a very good team in the Los Angeles Chargers. They're 8-3. I didn't really take anyone from the Chargers, and we win 42-17. We crush them. It's not even close. We have the Pittsburgh Steelers next, and they are 8-4, 81 overall. Can we continue our undefeated season? And we do 49 to 14 we are now 13 and 0 we play the kansas city chiefs who no longer have patrick mahomes they still have travis kelsey though you know we, we left them something and uh for week 15 uh we beat them 35 to 14 easily 14 and oh we're now a 95 overall on defense so 95 overall total we play the six and eight denver broncos 81 overall and we should go to 15 and oh let me know in the comments below will we lose a game put it in the comments right now we win a 41 to 10 over the denver broncos breakout running back challenge so we could see Najee harris as an x factor coming up the bills by the way are 12 and 3 they're really good can we go 16 and oh we do we beat the buffalo bills 34 31 Man, I, it's going to be the Bills in the playoffs. I don't know. I don't know. Will Madden Sim screw us? We'll see. We now play the New York Jets, who are 10 and 6. Can we beat... Our division's really good. 12 and 4 Bills. 10 and 6 Jets. Pretty insane. And we are now 17 and 0. We go undefeated in the regular season. 97 overall offense. 96 overall defense. 42 to 21. We beat the New York Jets got some upgrades we might as well look we go 17 and oh i mean this shouldn't be a surprise but it kind of is because madden sim just can be really weird and okay well i don't care about any of those upgrades let's get to the playoffs by the way we finished with the number one offense and the number one defense in points per game so not bad uh we averaged 35.3 uh points per game offensively and we only gave up 16.4 we beat teams by what is that math like 19 points per game that's pretty good we play our division rivals the new york jets they're an 82 overall they went 10 and 7 in the regular season let's go ahead and look at the playoff picture though and see if uh the bills made it. i'm scared of the bills okay the bills are a five seed they advanced they beat tennessee 28 to 7 the jets had beaten the ravens 23 to 16 the chargers are really good too they beat the Bengals 34 24 on the other side, the Panthers were the one seed? All right. 
Uh, the two-seeded Cowboys lost to the seven-seeded Eagles. San Fran beat the Rams 27-21, and the Vikings beat the Falcons 24-17. So, divisional round, Patriots versus Jets. Three teams in our division made the playoffs. Three teams in our division are on to the divisional round. And on to the AFC Championship. Can we go 18-0? Please, don't lose. We win 49-28, to and we've got the Buffalo Bills. They beat the Chargers, and it's I knew, I told you guys, I knew this was going to happen. Let's jump in, and let's watch this game. Here we are in the AFC Championship game at home, obviously, against the Buffalo Bills, going old school with the, uh, with the uniforms. Can we move on to the Super Bowl? We are up 7-0 early on. The Bills go down and score 7-3. Now 14-3. Now 21-3. 28-3. Oh boy, 28-3. Uh, uh-oh. 28-10. Okay, 35-10. I think we're safe. And that will do it. We win it. 38-10. And we are on to the Super Bowl. We beat the Bills very easily. We beat them now. We beat them and the Jets. Three times this season. And Mahomes is wearing number 12. That's hilarious. That That is actually... That's that's fantastic. I love that. Anyways, we're on to the Super Bowl. Uh, pretty easy win. 278 yards for Patrick Mahomes. Three touchdowns. Uh, Josh Allen struggled. 17 of 27. 200 yards. Only one touchdown. Najee Harris had 115 yards and two TDs. Pitts, 8 for 94 and a touchdown. Judy had 4 for 106 and a touchdown. And then defensively... Uh, TFL's two for Buckner. He had two sacks. One and a half sacks for Micah Parsons. Half a sack for Clark Roquan. And AJ Terrell had a sack as well. On to Super Bowl, what is this, 58, I believe. And uh, let's take a look at the team. And uh, see if we got any, you know, crazy uh, upgrades, uh, dev trait upgrades. And see if anyone lost some upgrades. Najee Harris is now an X-Factor. Yeah. Uh, Mahomes also has an upgrade. Jamar Chase is playing up to 98. The only thing you can up is Scrambler. So, uh, yeah, that goes up. Uh, like he, you know, needs to be better, but sure. Uh, so Patrick Mahomes is obviously 99. Justin Jefferson is still 99. Uh, Chase playing up to 98. Judy's playing up to an 88. Suell is playing up to 91. Humphrey's playing up to 95. Kyle Pitts is playing up to 98. Michael Mayer is a 78 star dev. And defensively, uh, okay, so Roquan went down from X Factor to Superstar. Uh, I don't think anyone else went down though. Oh, Simmons went to X Factor, which is awesome. He's playing up to 97. Holland is playing up to a 90, now a Superstar. So we got our X Factor corners in Jair and Pat Sertan. Parsons keeps X Factor. Buckner keeps X Factor. Clark. Uh, was he X-Factor? I don't think so. I think he actually might have gone... No, I think these are the same, right? I have no idea. I can't remember. Let's see what, uh, Jair's upgrade is, though. Uh, let's actually give him... Let's see. What does he need? He's 99 everything. So, uh, I guess we'll just do slot, and it'll just kind of give him whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Plus two change of direction, plus three tackle, plus one press. Yeah. All really good things that he could probably use. Anyways, that's the squad. That's how good we are. I mean, this team is... This team is insane. It is insane. We play the Philadelphia Eagles, who are 9-8. and eight. That's our matchup. It's going to happen again, isn't it? They were the 7th seed, weren't they? Weren't the Giants the 6th? Oh, boy. Uh... Will we go 20 and 0 or will another NFC East team prevent us from going completely undefeated? You've got to be kidding me. Here for Super Bowl 58. The logo looks so sick this year. I actually really like that logo. And uh, we've got the Philadelphia Eagles. Hopefully, you know, things don't go poorly. And uh, through the first quarter, we're up 7-0. 7-3 now. Up 14-3. Up only 14-10 now. At the half, up 21-10. Now 28-10. All right. Things are looking up. 
let's go ahead and I actually want to jump in a little bit. And we're actually at the goal line. So we'll try and get a touchdown here. We're obviously throwing it. Even though we have Najee Harris. But, you know, we're going to throw it. And over to Kyle Pitts. That was a little close. But Kyle Pitts scores a touchdown here in Super Bowl 58. And we take a 35 to... Uh, actually, do I want to play some defense? Why not? Let's play some defense. Let's jump in uh, and, and play a little bit. Let's see. Go we'll cover three. Jalen Hurts. AJ Brown. I mean, the offense is still pretty good. I don't really know if I took anyone from the Eagles offense. Maybe O-line? But I don't know. Pass to Swift. And I believe Holland with the tackle. Can we get a turnover here? This would be really embarrassing if we uh, give up a touchdown. Four minutes to go. I want another offensive drive, though. And we went offsides. You got to be kidding me. Who was that? Was that Micah Parsons that just went offsides? Really? What are we doing, Micah? Unbelievable. No, that was Chase Young. Never mind. What are you doing? Ch Sorry, Micah. <laughs> what are you doing, Chase? Come on, man. We'll use our uh, Javon Holland here. And that's a check down I couldn't get there. And that's going to be a first down. Ugh, I went for the pick. Doesn't work out. Hurts back to throw again. Towards the sideline to Devontae. 196 yards and a touchdown. Come on, Sertan. Can we lock up here? Maybe go man and blitz? See, uh, see if that works at all this year. Especially with this type of team. No pass rush, but incomplete. Nice play there. Is that Sertan? I think he changed his helmet. That's cool. Anyways. I think that was Sertan. I don't know. I don't know everyone's numbers. I'm assuming it was. I know Ju Jerry Judy is, is wearing number two. Getting pressure and uh, Jalen Hurts will throw it away. Fourth and four. Can we get a stop? Get the ball back. I want to score again. We need one more stop. We're blitzing here off the right side. So, oh, and that's dropped. AJ Brown dropped it. Oh, no. Back on offense, and uh, we actually have pretty good field position here. Might be able to score again. And we'll get out of the pocket. Don't really love every, anything. Jerry Judy gets open, though. Way, way to go, Judy. Just get to that sideline. It's open. Perfect. Perfect throw. Perfect route. We'll take it. Let's go verticals. Why not? See if anyone can uh, find a mismatch here. And we got Pitts wide open. Pitts down to the one. And it's not a touchdown. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Let's go with... Hmm. Let's just go with stick. And we might hit Chase or Jefferson. We have Chase wide open. Jamar Chase gets the touchdown. And we take a 40... 1 to 21 lead. So that will do it. We win the Super Bowl. 42 to 28. And uh, the super team built on the very easy trade. Difficulty. Goes undefeated. 20 and 0. Pretty easy. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see the next level. Which would be easy. Or maybe we just go to normal. Right? So we go very easy, then normal, then very hard. Or, uh, because I feel like very easy and easy are pretty much going to be the same. I mean, a little bit diff more difficult, but it's probably going to be the pretty much the same team. So I might do, like, maybe instead, actually, we might just go, like, very easy. Obviously, this, would, this video. And then very hard. Maybe we do that. We just do polar opposites. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next. Also, if you guys have any other video ideas, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.